Hello everybody and welcome back to more useful plays room world. We're here, we're out here. Straight off the last session, some traders came in. We bought some herbal medicine off them. I did this whole <laughs> room redesign thing. Uh still not sure if it's yeah, useful or just kind of dumb to do. But I, I have faith. I have faith that it will provide enough uh of a boost. To the people you, you did three you didn't do the last one oh, they, oh someone someone else did it ah. um you probably don't need that carpet there please remove that carpet and then we'll put marble in here because the marble gives plus one and then one day we'll fully marble up everything and See this? The uh, the smoothed walls, where you just smooth whatever it is. That's another plus one. I think, however, I think therefore I am. I think if it's already marble, I don't think we have any marble here. Is there marble on this map? There must be, yeah. See, if it's already like, I don't want to say raw marble. You know, a marble rock, rough marble rock. I think if you smooth that, it doesn't become a plus one. I think it becomes a plus two. So if you can build into a marble mountain or hill, I think you'd be golden. Oh, oh let me get rid of this. Now, something we were thinking last time, well, something I was talking about last time, was having Zach start trying to construct really high quality beds. I think I'll just have him do it in the workshop, just make them in the in the middle of the floor. Where, where are they? It's furniture. Because you can make royal beds, which are nice, but require gold. So what if we just told them, make a double bed. Zach, you're harvesting a poplar tree at the moment. Please don't do that, please. Please do that. Hicklin's not the best constructor, so please, Hicklin, never do that. So I was hydrating. I was saying it's still the same recording session. Chopping away things. Uh, I'm going to turn the, the crematorium on. And Hicklin, could you please cremate? Yeah, all the dead people. It just frees up some space. Do you think he'll do the animals as well? He will. So that'll actually free up a decent amount of space for more more rock chunks or more uh, steel slag chunks. He he has stopped. Yep, he, he gave up. He decided that he would rather harvest a poplar tree, and that's okay. I don't hate it. I was about to say where'd our path go, but it's snowing, so it's there. Um, also, shrink this zone. Do you know what? Yeah, get rid of these zones. Because remember, it's winter now, nothing's going to grow. Except that heel root, we'll leave, the, we'll leave the heel root for now. Yeah. Um, we're we're going to refactor our growing areas. In fact, I'll make a new growing zone now, just while they're working away. See, I think this room looks really nice. Although, I think I will... I'll keep this kind of angle on the tiles, but this will also be tile, and then this will all be fine carpet, and that should be enough to to balance it out and make everything look comfortable. Yeah? Um, and it kind of has, like, a natural separation of the room, like that. Maybe maybe one day a sculpture down here or something, but I definitely want to put a sculpture up here. Which reminds me, art bench. What can you make the art bench of? I think we're good just having a wooden art bench. I'm not sure if a different kind of art bench would uh, would do anything really. Um, put it here, I guess. No, 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 no. Ah, don't do that either. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. 
this art bench should actually go here. Because then we can have a tool, chest, tool, cupboard, or whatever it's called, that can serve as all three of these. Build a copy. Engie's working on bricks. Lovely. They've installed the next table, which is also lovely. The braziers are lit. Gondor calls for eight. Are we, um, that's right. Turn that off. We appear to have some power troubles. It should stay at 10 degrees because it's minus one outside, so I'm not too worried. Nice. And we're going to put the wall. Going to make it out of granite. We're going to put a wall here. Because this is uh, going to house a geothermal generator. We're going to want it to be tough. You know, tough walls. Oh, wait a minute. Granite door. <laughs> there we go. Lest we forget. Nice. It takes a while to construct. But see these wooden walls? They have 195 hit points. Marble. 360 granite 510 granite i think is the toughest stone of all the stones you know sandstone marble limestone slate is the weakest i think granite's the toughest but it doesn't matter for floors which is why we're using sandstone which i think is a fairly um what's the word i'm looking for brittle sandstone brittle not very strong um that's why we're using it for the flooring. Plus, I think sandstone tiles would probably look quite nice. Her resistance is going down. I'm sure we could have her join us before 71 days pass. And the, uh, the additional crafting would be nice. Oh, and never mind all the way in here. This is marble now. Ah. Nice. So we've made our start on this mine. Ah, here we go. Prisoner beds. They're not going to be comfortable, but we don't really need them to be comfortable, do we? Although, having said that, we do want them to be comfortable enough. Just so that they... Uh, Oh, what happened? A forced weather. So I'm just thinking about these things. Get rid of this. I don't know if 4x4 is enough. I know I just did this whole 4x4 thing. I'll maybe make them 4x5, take the back wall off. It gives them more space to have a table. Uh, they're not the nicest prisoner rooms ever. Um, maybe you shouldn't have attacked us and you wouldn't end up in a prisoner room. You jerk. So, table, chair, They'll be able to eat at a table. They'll have a slightly higher mood. Maybe they'll join us easier. Oh, what? So much stuff. Okay. Uh, Lifos Plateau. Lifos Plateau? I like that name. Lifos Plateau uh, Elamachus, a knight of the Refugee Imperium, wants to perform a low-power test of one of his ship's area attack weapons. If he does... A weather control system will force the weather around Cadia to be a rainy thunderstorm for 19 days. Which means people will be wet, which means they'll be miserable. But, have you looked at the gubs that we get? Allow me to hydrate for one moment. Here we go. Probably the weakest of uh, you know i'll go by value so the least valuable but i don't think you can really class it like that one bionic eye one bionic leg 75 uranium to already add to our burgeoning coffers of uranium we could get a series of ltex equipment a masterwork ltex helmet an excellent ltex shirt and an excellent ltex vest which means you could wear both of these You'd be really psychically sensitive. But they dissipate neural heat. Which isn't a, a... A game mechanic I fully understand yet. 
uh, or you can get a, a psychic sensitizer to make people more sensitive to psychic powers psychic reader for the mind control stuff not mind control sorry um, mind reading which might be nice and a psychic harmonizer a brain implant that projects the user's mood in a spherical field i've heard about this forcing other nearby others nearby to feel a blurred simplified version of their emotions it can be a powerful tool to keep morale high but if the user becomes unhappy it can lead to a collective disaster so i'm uh we've got six days to accept that i'm just going to let it run while i discuss these things so that psychic harmonizer let's say let's have a look at people's bios sickly and kind industrious jealous optimist yeah so grief has the optimist trait permanent plus six mood right which means normally his i'm sorry where's where his mood here we go his mood is always slightly higher than everyone else because he always has a plus six right grief's pretty happy if you installed the psychic harmonizer everyone in a circle would feel his happiness in general and they'd all get a mood bonus now if you installed it on uh, who's miserable let's say if the, if hicklin wasn't married and was miserable all the time he had like only these and he was he sucked he hated life he would project that onto everyone if you installed it on him so really if you install a psychic harmonizer on someone you want out of everyone in your colony them to be the happiest we produced some chem fuel lovely and we still have loads of chem fuel and the chem fuel generator is still going it requires 30 chem fuel every 10 days right or is it every five days i have no idea uh st still the, the math seems to be working out so i'm happy with that and using a shoot frenzy and we researched that's right we researched batteries power mm, battery we're gonna implant implant construct imp implant them like they're in someone just going to construct a couple of batteries here it's oops solar flare it's not the prettiest thing we've ever seen but it, it'll it'll charge up yeah stuff will charge up we'll have a bit of excess power should we ever need it and now we can move on to other things what do you move on to though oh i know geothermal power yeah you see because then we can construct this oh uh it's 28 degrees in here uh, sorry i panic what i didn't do is tell them to never put a roof over the steam geyser where's the steam gonna go nowhere until it explodes and kills everyone so please don't do that please give me floors sandstone floors yeah 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 there we go pull those floors up like that and we'll have a growing zone in here like that what's happening a red fox is hunting a lavender the labrador retriever for food let me just let me just sort this out. So you get, get rid of that stuff like that. Yeah, it looks nice. Oops. And then what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to kill that red fox. Is it you? Are you? It's gone now. Are you, yeah, you're hunting him for food, aren't you? Engie, you're going to play chess. Before you do that, get your gun and get ready. Dennis. Get your gun and get ready. Where's where is lavender? Hmm. 
He's over here. Okay, was it you? Were you considering hunting our humble lavender for food? Yeah, there's only one red fox about. I think he's just decided to uh, to leave the map. It's so cold. All right, and stay out. Lavender will be safe. Loads of woods. We did we did do a really big uh, chop wood order. Good quality bed. Poor normal normal. I mean, these poor ones should definitely be uninstalled. Yeah, we're gonna uninstall as we go. I'm gonna make a copy as well because there's there's definitely another poor quality bed. Um, and we've got loads of wood now. So yeah, I'd like them to make nice quality beds. Another good quality bed. Excellent. That's normal. This one's poor. Uninstall this one as well. Reinstall this one. Just up here. And reinstall this one over here nice there we go are there any more poor quality beds that's normal that's normal that's normal that's good okay so if we ever get higher than normal now and anything else we don't care about but normal and up no sorry good and up because everyone has at least a normal bed and he's cleaning dirt. Oh, do you know what? We can definitely take them off cleaning now. They can go about um, doing what they were doing before. Which will be, yeah, building and the little things. Nice, nice, nice. Grief can go back to sleeping there. And he's making blocks. I think the solar, yeah, the solar flare's over now. Oh, turn that off. Because we're trying to heat this place up and it's trying to cool it down. There we go. Dennis will research. Nice, I'm happy. We should accept this quest. What do we want to accept it for, though? I like the idea of the bionic stuff. We already have some. Yeah, we've got a power claw. But the bionic leg and the bionic eye might be really useful. You can make your own, obviously, but it might be nice to get them. I don't think we need the LTEC stuff just yet. The next time we get LTEC stuff, we might accept it for Zack. Let's see the psychic stuff. We're going to accept for the bionic stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a rainy thunderstorm. Dennis, can you haul that stuff? It's going to be a rainy thunderstorm for 19 days. Yeah, soaking wet. It's going to be a minus 3 debuff, but that we have so many cute animals. We'll get the nuzzled, impressive bedrooms, eight fine meals, night owl at oh night owl at night. He gets a plus 16 mood buff for just being at night. So there, you ha there you have it. Should be able to, uh, yeah, he hauled everything in. Uh, we should be able to push through this whole, you know, bad mood area or soaking wet bad mood in this area. How's this prisoner doing? It's going down. She'll join us eventually. Hickory no, no longer has inspired recruitment, unfortunately. Oh, there you go, they're getting the paths in. Preparing some stuff. Is Engie building blocks? Yes. 
I love it. There's loads of like... Oh, that's a bush. <laughs> I was going to say there's loads of bricks or, or blocks still just scattered around the place and we could probably move them into here, but do we need to? NG will just make blocks. And we're charging up power. Nice. I'm going to leave this force weather hit thing here, just so I remember. So in two episodes, I don't go, why is it thundering all the time? It's because I did it. We did it. We made this thing happen. Oh, and the ambrosia. Did it die in the cold? Please. Please tell me it's okay. There's one here. There's one here. You can probably claim that turkey. There's one up here. Uh, a cougar is hunting Labrador puppy one for food. Uh, cougar, are you ready? For what's about to happen? I hope you understand what's about to happen. That's what's about to happen. What? <laughs> One permanent gunshot injury to the brain from a revolver grief. You killer. Everybody on your crew. Go about your days, live your best lives. We need more lamps. It's extremely dark in here. And they hate that. There you go. And that, we protect our puppies. We have so many puppies. Well, actually, uh, Lavender is just young. But the rest of them, it's so good. Yes. Puppies. Um, there will come a time. Oh, I know you don't want to hear this. There will come a time where however many puppies we have are too many puppies. You know? get like 50 puppies that's, that's too many puppies well maybe 51 is too many but at that time we'll have to sell puppies to like an orbital trader or something do you know what we should uh, we should put an orbital trade beacon in here yeah Because that way we can trade our gubs. Uh, a wag is hunting Labrador puppy three for food. Did you not just see what we did to that cougar? Do you, do you not understand the doom that is to befall you? I should have clicked on the thing. I was too distracted. Where's the wag? Show me. Show me this coward. You over here, eh? Eh? Get drafted, gang, over here. You shot our dog, you fool. What just happened? Warg revenge or stay dead? You coward. Look at that. Hicklin went up with our Warg Rupert. Just to murder this man. Hey, would he go back to living your best lives? Look at that. Look at how good of a boy Rupert is. He's just like, yeah, we just killed that thing. Of course we did. We're taking it in. Can you not let the colonel get some medical attention? She was shot. Unbelievable. All right, Dennis. How are your needs? Yep, impressive bedroom. Eight of that. Table. Uh, yeah, I'm not having that one. <laughs> so, uh, better luck next time, champ. And yeah, I'll reinstall these to the side. I know there's a limited distance. Uh, or at least I think there's a limited distance with which they'll find food and then go, yeah, I'm going to go eat this now. Oh, I, del <laughs> I deleted the food zone. Ah. Ah, okay. Let me redo that. So this storage, at, at, storage,
storage. Please, you can speed up time again. Preferred priority. Clear all, put food in here. No rotten stuff and animal corpses. A red fox. Here's a hunting Labrador puppy three for food. I'm just gonna have to kill everything on the map. Oh no. Uh, also put plant matter and he's under manufactured isn't it herb medicine so that that goes in here right second stockpile zone you might think what goes in here just meals right this is important clear everything what goes in here just meals how uh except Package survival meals because they do not spoil so they can go anywhere uh, oh by the way yeah where where is this fox here it is hickling get ready to kill grief get ready to kill dude hickling and um, rupert they're a combo you don't want to mess with. Uh, and Rupert just carries it into the fridge. Oh, he's a champion. I love him. Dude, the, gr <laughs> the grizzly bear might lose it and try and kill us. At which point, we're going to have to get everyone together. Oh, uh, oops. Uh, also, just to clarify, the reason I did this whole thing with the freezer is so that uh, the meals are closer to the door. So they'll pick up a meal, it will only be in here, and they'll go, I need a table. There's a table right here, it's within distance. So they should always go and eat with a table, because I don't want that, I ain't that table debuff, shut up. None of that. We have two slate tables, high quality slate tables. Well, normal, but whatever. We have slate tables, please use them. There we go, orbital trade beacons. We're building that thing here. Oh, we should have mined this steel. Do you think we still can? Uh, okay. Please designate that as off. We're going to need more power. We are researching geothermal power. But until then, I get the feeling another water mill generator is in order. Uh, or not, apparently. <laughs> I cannot fit one here. I could fit one here if there was a grave. That was my fault. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Wagavans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please deconstruct these graves. And just, like, burn the bodies or something. Uh, raid. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Three people. Four people. Uh, mosquito, hawk, scorpion, and croyo. Are they healthy? Healthy, healthy, healthy. What? He's aching. I, I bet you. What is it? His left leg scratch. I bet you that aches when it rains. Anyway, they're going to prepare for a while. We, we're going to end their lives. And we're going to take everything they have. And I might as well just get everyone ready. It might be an opportunity to test out the new uh, prison rooms. I'm just going to draft everyone and have them come over here anyway. So here's my thing. Zach. <laughs> Not Rupert. Zach. Behind the tree. Dennis. Behind the tree. Engie. Behind the tree. Turner. Over here, Hicklin. Sorry, Grief. Over here. What looks like stand next to that. Turn it up here. Here. And Hicklin, you get behind. Don't try to arrest her. Go behind her. Alright, face us, you cowards. Oh, Zach has a shot. So does Dennis. Oh, Dennis lost his shot. Zach. 
destroy this man. Come on, one shot, one kill. That would have been a one shot, one kill if he, he hadn't been so lucky. Dude, he's hacking. <laughs> there you go, they're beginning their assault, you fools. Absolute buffoons. Here we go. Please kill these people. Hicklin, make a run for it. I think we want to give Hicklin power claw when we can. And we also have running, you fools. And we also, um, if we can get him bionic legs, I think that would be incredible. Because then he'll he'll be super speed. He's unforbid everything. There we go. Nobody survived, so no free clothes. That's fine. Everybody's living their lives. Uh, Pepper, please join us. She can't do dumb labour. Well, she's a fast learner, so she'll be good at everything else. Cargo pods. Uh, free gold, yes, please. Do you know what, NG? Please haul at maximum priority, just for a little bit. Same with you, Turner. I know I just had them do, like, a, a cleaning round. But a little bit of hauling. Just out about, grab everything that we might want. The bows we can sell, the gold we can take. I don't think there's anything else to haul, really. Uh, you know what? You're right, me. We don't need them doing that. Because uh, we have so many animals capable of hauling. Is that a snowman? That's incredible. Who made this? Does it tell me? It doesn't. Ah. Can somebody work on this? No. Ah. Oh. I love that though. I love the snowman. How are we doing? Turner is healing. Please don't feed her raw meat. <laughs> She's better than that. Dull hospital. Oh, we'll get a TV in here. Don't you worry. Oh, Pepper's uh, resistance has been broken. So now, next time somebody tries to convince her to join, I think she'll just join. This is awesome. It means we can uh, probably redesign this room. We still got construction going on the slate, uh, sandstone, sorry. Which is nice, it's looking good. Oh, that's something I wanted to do uh, ages ago and never did. I wanted to make a little growing area. Just down here and here. And why do I want to do that? I wanted them to be um, flowers. Some daylilies, maybe. And some roses. Let's give people a mood boost while they're going home. And this, please expand this zone to be too wide. Oops. Up here. There we go. Actually, no. Please make it three wide. Oh, four wide? Oh my goodness. There we go. So we'll have a little growing area around here. Um, it's heel roots at the moment. It should probably be cotton. I'll plant cotton here. And I'm going to make them the other grow zones. Before thingies even here. And by thingy, I mean spring, maybe? Please don't do that. Please just expand this grow zone. So, cotton. Yup. Potatoes. Yup. Strawberries. Yeah. That's going to be cotton... Another growing zone. We're going to chuck another one, but just down here. I 
It's gonna be, whoops, it's gonna be heal root. Did he like going there? Ah, oh, that's right, we have a secondary area. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine with that. I, I get the feeling that this was a perfect square. Or perfect, you know, rectangle. Um, until we made the growing zone, but it's fine. Uh, we do want more growing zones, though. I know it seems like a lot of growing zones, and that's because it is. But we're doing it for a reason. Uh, there's, there, oh, there's ambrosia here. Okay, don't plant here <laughs> for a little bit. Um, up here. What do we want up here? Psycho plant. Why do we want psycho plant? I think we're in the position, by speed three, I think we're in the position now where we can maybe work on, when uh, geothermal power is done, psychoid brewing. Right, we can make psychite tea at a stove or something like that. Why do we have no power? Okay, that's panic a little bit. Um, we can make psychoid tea or psychite tea, gives them a, a mood buff, makes them more productive, very minorly addictive. So, I, I think that would be a nice thing to do for the colony. Oh, look at the rolling blackouts. Dennis is on a fire starting spree. Yeah, we can't... I don't really want another pyromaniac. We've got two We've got two of them already, and they just kind of take turns setting things on fire. But he'll set things on fire, and then the other one will be like, oh, you know what? I haven't set fire to anything in ages. Why not? And this is also why we're going to make all the walls out of marble, so it can't set on fire and burn our houses down. Oh, well. We need that geothermal power. Oh, do you know why we don't have any power? It's because nobody refilled that. Zach? He's refueled the chem fuel power generator. And watch everything turn back on. Ta da! Oh, uh, ta da! I thought nothing was going to happen for a second there. Feels good. Someone's going to talk to Pepper, please. Please. Okay, maybe not. We're gonna we're gonna close out this day and then end the episode. I'd just like to see what they get done today. Engie's working on more bricks, which is lovely actually. More slates. New recruit Pepper. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Pepper, you can live in here. Uh, no, don't mean store it, sorry. Pepper, this is your bedroom. This is no longer a prisoner room, and we're going to reinstall the bed and just get this stuff set up the way uh, the other rooms are going to be. Little animal bed there. Lovely. Uh, as a new recruit, I will sort uh, her stuff out at the start of the next episode. Yeah, sort all of her, her work preferences out. And you're going to put that out. Lovely. And it's still thundering, and it'll be thundering for quite a while, I think. 15 days, maybe. Anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Still pretty hopeful for the colony. Feeling good. Getting ready for the next spring. We've only got, I think, one more or two more days. I think it'll be spring next episode. So I look forward to that. And again, thank you. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving a like. If you're looking for more content, please consider subscribing. Check out Twitter and the Discord group in the down... <laughs> I can say in the downstairs. In the down there's. Yeah, in the description. I'd love to see you there. And I'll see all of you in the next one. See ya.